Guess who's back to show you another mind-blowing, once-in-a-lifetime find. It's a true story, and it happened in a Goodwill thrift store just like this one. Do you believe in thrifting fate? You just might after you see this. A giant Lennox box and an entire set of silver goblets made a believer out of me. Is there a world's record for tearing open a Lennox box? Because I'm pretty sure I beat it. It's my first time in this Goodwill thrift store, but it comes highly recommended. I've been trying to get out here to check it out for a while. They have a furniture section here, so we're going to run to the back of the store because that is my favorite part. And then we will return to home decor. Oh, I should buy this oven. It's the only way to guarantee I won't burn dinner. Also, I have some quick news about Randy before we get into his story today. Randy caught the acting bug and he will be starting his own channel in September. I'll give you more details as we get closer. Are you going to subscribe to his new channel? I know I am. I kind of have to. I gave him his start and I feel kind of responsible. Loving this chair in perfect condition, by the way. It's only $14.99 and it's still got two tags to go before it's at the final price. Perhaps gone are the days of dollar furniture, but come on, who could complain about that price? Personally, I would wait for a few markdowns at least before buying this chair, but even at $44.99, where are you going to find that? My first love is vintage and antique furniture, and I still find it at Goodwill, not as often as I used to, but I do find it here. This is stunning and not something I would have expected to find here. So gorgeous. And the last chance price, I didn't film it very well, but it's down to $99. Absolutely a great deal. It even has a different pattern on the other side. Two in one for $99? Come on. If you like to refinish furniture or you're just looking for something cheap in the meantime while you wait to find your perfect piece, look at these. $1.99 and not even the last chance price. I can't even get a piece of furniture for $1.99 at a yard sale right now. I feel like these are a little pricey for storage, but they're not marked down at all yet and I'll keep an eye on them. I'm thinking I could use these to hold some of my sweaters. I know it's only August and it's so, so hot out there, but I so look forward to winter that I'm already buying sweaters by the dozens right now. I'm really hoping to find a lucky sweater that can bring winter early. Do you have a lucky sweater? Did you buy it at Goodwill? Sean and Nikki did. They stopped at a Goodwill store in Asheville, North Carolina, hoping to thrift some vintage clothing and took home a beat up piece of wool worth more than my car. Actors are on strike right now, but luckily toys are not. So it's thrifted toy theater to the rescue to tell this true story. If you missed the very first thrifted toy theater of the season and you would like to see it, you can see it here. Just look for this thumbnail on my channel. Sean and Nikki are just getting started browsing and they have no idea that they're about to come across the thrift of a lifetime. We'll check back in with them after we do some thrifting of our own. 
I have absolutely no idea who that guy was, but he is not camera shy at all. Every Goodwill I have ever been to has this aisle. This first aisle we're gonna go down is just full of a little bit of everything. It's just so much fun. My strategy at a thrift store is pretty simple. I walk down the entire aisle first, and then I go back and look at individual shelves. Then I go in and look at specific items. It just helps me get the lay of the land. Holiday items are being unleashed in all of your local thrift stores. We're going to see tons of it today, along with everything else we usually see. Did not get the horn, wish that I had, because I had this great idea to just tie a bow around it. It would have been so pretty, but I didn't think of it until later. Too late. And was that a cherub candle holder that just flew by? I can't believe I missed that. I didn't see that one at all. The little plant was so super cute to miss that completely. Did not miss that candy dish, however. Don't worry, we'll come back to it. Did not notice the grapes either. Oh my goodness, I wish I'd looked at those. Had a sneaking suspicion that that car was vintage though, and we will look at that. That definitely did not escape my attention. I'm spotting some brass, but not a lot. I used to find tons of it all the time at Goodwills, but I see it less and less all the time. So I learned a hard lesson today. I don't know if you caught it before, but there's a Statue of Liberty little stat statuette on the top shelf here. We're gonna see it in a minute. I wanted it so bad. I had this whole shot planned out with Randy for perspective. I thought it was gonna be really, really fun. I just had to, had to have it. So I took it up to the front cash register and I asked if they could hold it for me by the register and would it be safe there? And they said yes. And the reason that I did that is because I just really do not have any free hands while I'm filming, so I always have to go back and get what I want, and sometimes it's not there anymore. I really was not concerned because I thought, who would want this besides me, right? But when I did go up to the register to get it, somebody else had bought it. They saw it sitting on the, re they saw it sitting on the counter, and they bought it. Now I'm crushed, and I have to find another one somewhere, so if anybody knows where I can get a tiny Statue of Liberty statuette online, please put it in the comments. <laughs> Thank you. 
beautiful candy dish, not a scratch on it, not a price tag either. My goodness, I love crystals, so we'll come back and open this up in a minute, but I did spot some brass. If you see it and you love it, grab it. There's just not that much of it around anymore. I'm getting into this crystal set. Uh, it just doesn't even look like crystal, and it's missing the piece that I was actually most interested in, so personally not a fan. Bummer. Ooh, for a hot second, I thought I spotted a Lennox face. It's not Lennox, but it is vintage, and it looks like the average is about $25 online for this vintage face, so $2.99, good deal. This store has a lot of boxes, which I always think is really fun. It's like opening up a bunch of packages. These look really cute and fancy, like they're from a specialty store. They're adorable. I don't see a price tag anywhere, though. I spotted a bunch of these little piggy banks all over the store. Very cute. Mikasa Crystal Bowl. Um, is it $13.99 or $3.99? I'm not sure. I just, I wasn't sure if it was a deal or not. It depends on what the price is. Ooh, Fastoria, but no price. Adorable little napkin holder. It's got some chips in it, but it's still cute. I'm pretty sure this is shaping up into a nativity scene. If you see something like this, grab all the pieces, take it up to the front, and ask if you can get a discount on the entire set. This piece by piece thing is ridiculous. This piece is pretty yellowed. If you know how to get this yellowing out, can you please leave it in the comments? Thank you. little turtle candle. I wonder if these are from somebody's trip to Hawaii. There's little fish coming up too. Several of these little music boxes all over the store. We're gonna see them in a little bit. So I would recommend this time of year, if this is the kind of thing you're interested in, that maybe you bring a bag of different size batteries so you can try it out. I know they test their electronics and you can test the electronics here at Goodwill anytime you want, but I'm pretty sure they don't have batteries available to see if it works. Okay, who remembers singing fish? I remember the Father's Day when almost every father got one of these. This clock was so beautiful, but part of it's broken off, the bottom part, and it just seemed like $15.99. It just seems steep for a broken clock. I guess if you could fix it, maybe? Woo, that owl was packed, but let's check back in with Sean and Nikki. 
We left them sifting through the racks, looking for vintage clothing. And it looks like we're back just in time because Nikki found something that she wants to show Sean. She came across this cool sweater and she's like, Sean, honey, look at this. It's this cool West Point vintage sweater. Isn't that neat? Do you want it? And Sean was all like, I don't know. It has some moth holes in it. I don't know if it's really worth it. She's like, well, I think I'm gonna get it anyway because it's only 58 cents. I can sew up those holes. It, nobody will ever see it. It'll look like it's brand new. So they leave the store with this 58 cent steal of a lifetime. Thank goodness this security guard had no idea. Nikki and Sean won't find out how precious this purchase was until later when they get home. So we'll get back to them just in time for all the excitement. So far, really consistently, Goodwill is still a place to go for framed art. They consistently have good prices. They carry all different styles, so even if you go once and don't find what you're looking for, within a couple of times you probably find something you can live with. And it's not unlikely that you might even find something that you love. This is a great black and white, really artsy, really unique, really unique shape. I loved it. $9.99, a great deal. Not sure if this was unused. Don't think I'd risk sticking my feet in it, but if you would, hey, I'm not judging. That was a pretty good price. So is this. Absolutely gorgeous. Do not skip this section of your Goodwill. This is so great for yard art. Leave it as is. Look, you can just put a planter right on there instead of using it as a candle holder. You can paint it to add some color to your yard. Awesome, we're gonna see some more. Here's another one, fantastic. Look, just put 
little pots of succulents on here, indoor or outdoor, leave it unpainted or painted another color. Gorgeous. I just love handmade, hand-painted art, and it's just all over the place quite often in Goodwill, $1.99. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, here's another item you could repurpose for plants. It's just, it's so stunning. It's just, it's such a statement piece anywhere that you put it. Do my eyes deceive me or is that a Lennox box? Like a huge one. Okay, well, we gotta open this. I, I have to know what's inside of it. $12.99. $12.99 for Lennox? Okay, so not quite what I was expecting to see inside of a Lennox box, but if you collect them, I'm sure they were really pricey, but it's not here. It's really cute, and it is made by Lennox. cute little hand-painted tea box. I mean, really, somebody loved this. I love finding hand-painted art at thrift stores. Speaking of projects, let's see how Nikki's doing with that holy sweater. Back at home, Nikki is sewing up those old moth holes so that she can give this sweater to her husband. Sean puts on a documentary about the legendary football coach, Vince Lombardi. They watch the documentary together as Nikki sews. Both of them completely oblivious to the fact that Nikki is holding a piece of sports history in her hands at this very moment. And they're about to find out. Right after we find out what's on the next aisle. I keep a lot of folders with ideas in them, especially for content creation. And I've been looking for something to keep that in and I thought I found what I wanted here, but the problem is I wouldn't be able to fit anything into the bottom. There's just not enough space in between the baskets. So that was a bummer. This one was more of a possibility. Could not find folders here though to try it out and make sure it was the right size. I'm gonna bring some with me from now on because that's what I'm looking for. These are super cute baskets. They don't even look like they've been used. And $2.99? Oh my goodness. If I had more storage, I would hop on that bargain. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Anything for storage, utility type of a thing, baskets, whatever. It's all gotten so expensive. Seriously, save yourself some money. Go to Goodwill or any thrift store really and get your storage stuff there. Okay, so I just don't cook, but I think these are called ramekins, right? They're super cute and $1.99 seems like a good deal, but I would, again, take this entire setup and ask how much for the whole set. These plates are just so gorgeous. 
hand painted it's the seller brand from Macy's so beautiful I don't like that something got broken, but I do like that it wasn't me who did it. There's this instant feeling of relief when you hear something break from another aisle and you go, phew, oh, could have been me. It wasn't me this time. <laughs> There's just a very gratifying moment of, oh no, someone's in trouble. Oh, it's not me. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Nikki and Sean and this incredible moment of realization that's about to happen. So Nikki's sewing away on the couch with Sean, watching a documentary when suddenly they spot a very familiar sweater. They can't believe their eyes. Vince Lombardi is sitting right in front of them wearing the exact same sweater that Nikki just bought for Sean today at Goodwill. The same thought crosses both of their minds, but it's silly, right? I mean, what are the odds? Could this be the exact sweater that Lombardi wore? How could they possibly tell? To know for sure, his name would have to be written on it. As fate would have it, Nikki remembers seeing a name written on that tag. Only one way to find out. Dance party. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How much could a lucky find like this be worth? We'll find out after we look at some more of our own lucky finds. Like this 27 piece set of silver goblets, plus water, plus coffee, plus everything. These have got to be the cutest holiday plates I've ever seen. Little hand-painted snowmen, and guess what? They're China. Dishwasher and microwave safe. If you're new to China, really important, if you want it dishwasher and microwave safe, make sure you look at the bottom. If it doesn't say it, it's not. It has to list both. Don't make any assumptions. Another hand-painted snowman, super cute.
I don't usually check out the toy section, but I have been since I've been working with Randy because you never know. This one's really small, but I will say it is the cleanest toy section I have ever seen in any thrift store by far. Every stuffed animal here looks brand new, like they just sat on the bed or a shelf or something. These are not played with toys. Whoever is in charge of this section at this Goodwill deserves a raise. Amazing job here. I didn't see a single Barbie or Ken type of doll here, which is unfortunate because that's what I'm looking for for my thrifted toy theater. They're not always in the greatest shape when I find them, so this would have been the perfect place to get them. I still need a few more characters, so I'll just have to keep my eye out when I go to other thrift stores. But for now, let's check in with the characters that I do have and find out how much they can get for their 58 cent sweater. Nikki and Sean had no idea how to evaluate what a legendary football relic might be worth. So they took the West Point Lombardi sweater to an expert at a sports memorabilia store. The sweater is authenticated and to their amazement, this 58 cent purchase from a Goodwill thrift shop is worth an incredible, drum roll please, $43,000. Who knew that such a small investment could lead to such a huge return? What fateful, valuable item could your next thrift store purchase hold? so I go to that one all the time. Oh and that goodness. was your first video that I watched. You went to that one and got that big brown mirror. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh so you know God. I'm a fan. Oh my gosh. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, you took a break and I just took a break and now I'm back. Oh, yes. good. good. <laughs> if you get a chance, throw a comment in there to remind me. That I will let you know. One. I will link the Afro girl at the, the art. And this is my favorite one too. Yes. 